Y'all know that I love me a good aggro deck and popper. I love using some comments to whack people in the face. And one of my favorite ones is the Rakdos Madness aggro deck, the black red burn deck in some way, shape or form, but uses a mid range strategy kind of centered around madness and faithless looting. So card selection over card advantage. We want to be discarding key cards such as Alms of the Vein, allowing us to cast it for one, giving us a lightning helix and then cards like Kitchen Imp that give us a two two with haste for one a lot of synergy so much fun and some crazy wacky draws when you're spinning your wheels but all that aside regardless of how much you put in the effort the affinity matchup is still <laughs> just as hard enjoy the games popper rakdos burn on the draw this isn't the best hand but i'll try it because i have the voldiran epicure that can help me cycle through some of these lands Again, the affinity matchup that I am not a fan of, truly. We'll have to make it work here. Yeah, I mean, next turn I can go... Hmm. We'll cycle, I could cycle the alms. I think I want to cycle a land though. Truly, I think I just want to cycle a land. Yeah, we got to cycle a land. We have to cycle a land. We got to cycle a land. Yeah, that's that's a little better, right? Like we, I need like damage, um, because we are not off to a great start. But it's tough though, right? To beat Affinity, you really need to hit the ground running. I don't have a Monastery Swiss Spear. I don't have a great board presence. I don't have a great forward plan here. It's not like I have Faithless Looting into Om um, and Fiery Temper, so. Um. So they got five. They can play Frogmite here. They can tap one, go to six. They can't play Murren Forces. That's the big thing. Once they start playing Murren Forces, that's when, that's when the game starts getting a little iffy. They have six. They can tap one, play Murren Forcer. Yeah, that's when the, this is when the game starts getting iffy. Okay. Okay, so at this point, if they if they do something where like they do something like where they attack, I can I can like block bolts. Kind of do want to kill the enforcers. Yeah, I kind of do want to kill the enforcers. So you have access to two mana here. Access to two. What are they? And I think they want to keep developing their board. But they could also think about that block exchange. I mean, losing a lightning bolt is, is not, it's not great, but it's not like the best exchange in the world, but it's an exchange. Let's see if they, let's see if they just go for it. Okay. And then bolt this as well. Because they could have the sack, right? Like the, the two mana instant sacrifice. At least it like at least it gets it off the battlefield right okay yeah at least they're not gaining life fine i lose a bolt but like they're not gaining life so i see that as a small win it's not on the battlefield but i mean yeah like blood fountain kind of gets that back next turn so kind of gotta have a big turn here I'm, I'm hoping to draw faithless looting hoping to draw faithless looting double imp yo ain't no way Ain't no way this matchup is miserable. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you got another enforcer. Uh, we'll vamp. Create uh, two pieces here. Discard that the imp next turn yep cast alms that Let's see if we can't grind them out i i doubt that we can truly i doubt that we can but i mean things could change if we draw faithless looting things could be a little bit better here because we're going to be able to churn through our deck get some value out of the out of the kitchen imps so things could change on a on a on a dime here things could change on a dime that, that car clan shaman oh that is that is brutal 
This deck does a lot, though. There's a reason this deck is the best deck. There's a reason this deck is the best deck. Another, this, whenever you sacrifice another permanent, ooh, that's a that's a cool that's a cool addition. I like that. I like that. It's a lot a lot of sacrificing here on the battle on their side of the battlefield. So uh, they do have their counter up too. So faithless looting. I don't know how reliable that that's going to be on a cast, but mm, like if they choose to like counter faithless looting. We can at least pay for it, and we may not have like the full kitchen imp type of value. <sighs> I don't think we win this, honestly. I don't think we win this. It's got to be slow. It's got to be slow. Like, okay, so kitchen imp. Or here, I can like discard to play kitchen imp here. Yeah, Kitchen Imp. Discard to play the Imp. Yep, cast the Imp. Give me the Imp, come on. You have the counter spell, I, I, I see it. it Force me to tap out for this? I mean, sure. Yes, I'll pay the three. That grows a little bit. That's kind of scary. Draw a card. I need damage spells. It just sucks when you don't have certain pieces coming together. I mean, this is a this is a very like high synergy deck. If you don't have the pieces coming together, it's gonna suck. You live the highs and highs, um, but you also live the lows. So. Don't have another discard outlet. I managed to gain myself some life, right? Like I managed to gain myself five life. So there is that. Oh, okay. That's not fun. Yup. They're going to ping that one down. Yup. They're going to grow that. Just lose like another land of the blood token. They definitely want to keep fountain. I think probably just the blood token goes. <sighs> That's going to be like a five, four. Yep. Coming at me with nine. Yeah, this this matchup is like it's tough. Like even for even for burn, right? Like there are specific pieces in this deck, in the affinity deck, that once they draw, it's really hard to come back from. Really, really hard to come back from, truly. Um this makeshift munitions is this is gonna be a tough one to defeat. Especially if they have counter magic up. I think all I can do is play Kitchen Imp to potentially block, buy myself a turn. But then they kind of, no, they kind of ping me down, go one, two, three. They have, and then they sacrifice it. No, they, they have lethal here. They sacrifice it and make this bigger. They kind of have it. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a pretty sweet card. Okay, we'll go to next game. We'll go to next game and try and see if our Smash the Smithereens can do what we need it to do. Hmm... I think we go smash and then we drop like chain lightning uh searing blaze isn't like the best thing in the world drop a vamp kiss and then take it from there yeah i think that's what we got smash the smithereens on some key pieces now this is a tough one this is a tough one don't get me wrong i do like playing this deck but ooh baby it's a tough one it is a tough one and we have some interesting pieces out here but this deck is definitely you know, I, I, I threw it up again. I was like, hey, what's going on in Popper right now? Can we take advantage of it? You know, I'm seeing decks like Tron and um, thing like kind of take hold. You know, there are some sideboard pieces that are fun with it. And once, once a deck gets rolling, it's rolling. So just a little bit of luck involved. Like you really need, like that Faithless Looting, key. And then along with that, you need a payoff for that Faithless Looting. So things got to come together. Things got to come together. Um. And again, there are pieces here that, that could be helpful. Molten Rain, um, hitting some of their non-basics. Pyroblast could be useful, but I don't think I want to get into a counter war with them. You know, Nihil Spellbomb can stop their Graveyard Recursion. The the blood, uh, it's not Blood Fountain. Or no, it is Blood Fountain, sorry. 
Um, and Diabolic Edict, like... I don't know. We could Diabolic Edict. But in my mind, Diabolic Edict is like... Almost for the control deck, too. Because Diabolic Edict, it get rid of the, gets rid of the Angler. If we're playing against Ponza, it gets rid of... Um, gets rid of the big stuff for Bogles. Obviously, key, key card against Bogles. Um, or Heroic, so... Sounds not bad, I'll keep it. These two cards kind of suck on their own, but I mean, hey, I got a Monastery Swift Spear, so I can't complain. Most of the time, they're, uh, this deck is going to go turn one tapped artifact land, so. Of course, if they if they just Gal Blast, uh, Gal Blast the Swift Spear here, I don't think they would. Um, I don't I I don't think they would. And then I can try and like keep it up. So I'll play the Dross Forge Bridge. I can try and like protect it almost if they go to Gal Blast it, if they go to do something with it. Because this is going to be grindy. This is going to be grindy. The, um, I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to force a game three all too well, but we'll see. Yeah, like they're going to go for a potential removal spell here. Oh, they're not. Yeah, see, there you go. Okay, so again, it could be a massive fake out, but I could just I could just save it a little bit, right? So let's arms or not arms. Sorry, I keep calling this arms. Like the, the R, it's just always confusing me. But um, vampire's kiss give me two kind of discard outlet type of things. Perfect. And then we're gonna swing in for two. Already dealt two. They're at fourteen. We're playing the game. We're playing the game. We're playing the game of magic. So we got nine damage on it in our hand. We got nine damage. Hmm. Okay, Blood Fountain. They kind of want to play one artifact. They're, they're kind of playing like one thing at a time. I don't know if they have a slower draw or... I don't know. Yeah, they're holding up something. They're holding up something here. Yeah, okay. So I am going to use this. 100%. So... Yeah, I might as well. Like, it's not going to save it, but, you know, might as well use up the mana that I have. Might as well use up the mana that I have here. And then next turn, I can use kind of all the mana I have to just fling those at their face. Let's do that. Play this. Let's use one of these. Discard this. Yep. Hit him in the face. Draw a card. Not what I'm looking for. That's fine. I can maybe redraw it and step. I have three artifacts on the battlefield. They're at seven. Not ideal. Drawing a lot right now. Ooh. Okay. All right. 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 Um, they're gonna ping away my stuff. Yeah, they're gonna ping away my stuff. God, this is the second time this league I've actually been got by Gorilla Shaman. This is the second time this league. Like, do you want to bring in Gorilla Shaman against this matchup? Like, I don't think so. I wouldn't think to bring in Gorilla Shaman. Like, I think the matchup is fine without this. But I, hey, what am I? What am I? Who am I to know? They, they are absolutely wiping the floor with me right now. So, I will say that they are wiping the floor with me. There goes all of my discard outlets. I mean, I got to swing. Got to swing. They block, they block. I got to swing, though. Yeah. While they're tapped out. Hit him with the big one. I, I got to try. I got to try, right? And now Gal Blast isn't lethal. I'm, I'm hanging on a wire, like a really razor thin wire here window of opportunity their blue sources ever increasing increasing the amount of uh you know amount of availability they have for counter magic lots of artifacts that they can tap for their metallic rebukes it is it's a tough world out here let's see let's see let's see okay deadly dispute okay now they're drawing a lot of cards but i mean again they can still cast their counter spell here 
That's one thing I'm worried about. If I can draw like two burn spells, I kind of have to go for it. Because once they're on top... Okay, so play that. So, you know, I can play around it getting countered. Right? Bolt to the face. Oh! I think I concede. That's it. That's it. Like, unless they do absolutely nothing. Unless they got five lands in their hand. Five lands in their hand. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Blue Elemental Blast. I mean, okay, sure. That's a good card. It just sucks that they have it. I'm not surprised. I'm more surprised at the Shaman, but... This is tough. Yeah, this this is this is a tough matchup. I don't I don't know if I've actually maybe once or twice, but like out of the numerous games I played this matchup with with some type of red aggro, it's so hard to beat Affinity because at some point they're countering your stuff, they're countering your final pieces, they're removing your board, um, and then you know they play a Murn Forcer, they get that giant sacrifice this this creature, gain that much life, gain the life equal to its CMC, and ah uh, yeah. It just gets way too far. Way too far. Okay. They're sacking. They're doing things. They're sacking. They're doing things. Drawing a card. Do I lose here? Do I lose here? I think I do. I don't really have a Gal Blast or anything to like draw me through anything. Like I need this to draw like alms and like... Fiery Temper. Alms and Fiery Temper. That's all I got. Like, yeah. Alms and Fiery Temper, it catch the L. Okay. Alms and Fiery Temper, it catch the L. Come on. Catch the L. Alright. GG's. Oh, this is a tough matchup. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. You think it's unwinnable or what? That's a tough one. Alright, cool. GG's.